So where did all this start for you? How did you become a, like a follower of Jesus? Where did yeah. that journey begin? Well, you know, I, I am in a family of pastors, missionaries, you know, you, you name it, that's, they're in my family, you know. And I grew up in a Pentecostal assemblies of God, people talking weird languages and all that kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> Uh, but that's normal to me, just so y'all know. That, that, I grew up and, and, and I watched the people that I love the most with the most integrity, you know, live a certain way and, and, and pray and, and believe for things in a certain way. And that's how I grew up. So I never forget, any of y'all been in a revival? Anybody? A real one? Like, you know what I'm talking about? All right. Well, I'm, I'm, t- I'm telling you, I'm believing that all these hands are going to be raised at some point. And I was in a revival at our church, and I was uh, four or five, six years old, right around that time. And I was sitting over here in the section over here on this side of the stage, and this was like the seventh day in a row of church. And uh, so I'm playing with my wrestlers, Bret Hart and The Rock and all this kind of stuff. And, and, uh, Come on. Oh, yeah. And I'm sitting over there, and I'm playing, and, and all of a sudden, I just, my heart starts to beat out of its chest. And, you know, my mom's leading worship, and who knows where my dad is. He's praying for somebody, you know, and I'm looking around. I'm by myself playing, you know. But I felt the call of the Lord on my heart, and I stood up, and I turned around as a little boy. And I looked up, and I I just knew. And no one told me. No one asked. I just knew I needed to walk down there. So here comes this little kid walking all the way down the aisle. And I walked there, and I stood there. And as I got to the the altar, I began to weep. And, And this man asked me, he says, do you want Jesus in your life? I said, more than anything. And I knew in that moment, and that's a, that's a moment for me that never left me. Was I perfect after that? Absolutely not. Ask my wife. You know, I was, <laughs> no, you know. Uh, but I had another moment where when I got to college, you know, see, I, I started going crazy, sleeping here and doing this and smoking that and partying and all this kind of stuff, being completely selfish, you know. And I'm very transparent, if you can't tell. You know, I, I just, I do it so I think it's going to help somebody. But I, I was doing these things, and, and she was a friend at the time. She wrote me this, like, 28-page letter. She's probably laughing. It was, like, three pages. But I, you know, when girls get Felt mad, like they, right? they just keep, <laughs> next, you know. I got a lot to say, you know. <laughs> but I remember I, I was so angry. I didn't, something in me just didn't want to read it. But I remember grabbing it, and I knew the Lord was saying, you need to read this. And all I remember, it says, you're not the person I thought you were. And in and, and that moment, God dropped me down to my knees and I laid on the ground and I began to sob and because I knew I knew it was time and and when you train a child in the ways of the Lord as they grow old they won't stray away from it and I knew I had a mom a grandma aunts uncles a dad brother I had people praying for me and those prayers are heard you know what I'm saying and I was raised in the church as I as I had told you before and it was that moment God got my heart and I said I'll give you I, I give you everything not just one little bit not just this I was doing crazy stuff and then saying Lord forgive me okay I made it you know like like I, okay Saturday night okay I, it's 1, 1 a.m. okay forgive me Whew, I made it all right I'll go to church tomorrow yeah, let me text my mom is she still here okay the rapture didn't come okay I'm good you know like, <laughs> but that's kind of how I was living on the fence, lukewarm. And the Bible says, if you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out of my mouth. And he gripped my heart with that. And now, man, I've been on fire ever since. Yeah. 